Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today we're going to get Moby Flight working with FS2020. <music> to download Moby Flight, you can go over to mobyflight.com and click the little download button right here. The link is in the description because I know that's what YouTube is all about. You can download the latest version and then I like to save it into a new folder named Moby Flight. This will let it have a place to put all the full files. So then you can save it and just click run and you'll start the installation process. You'll see right there it's all installed and Moby Flight has these files populated into wherever you put it. And now you can just put this folder into the program files section if you'd like. You'll notice right here we have our Moby Flight control panel. This is awesome. You can control outputs, so like LEDs, stuff like that, in the output tab, and inputs like switches, encoders, in the input tab. You will notice these two little caution marks. We're going to fix both of these in a second. So what we can do is to fix these is get our modules all working. For our modules, we can go to Arduino IDE and then download the software. Arduino IDE is a software that you can link your Arduino to MobiFlight. So you really need this to, to basically do anything. So you can click this Windows 7 or newer for Windows, and then you can uh, download it. Just a note right here, select the Windows 7 or newer or the zip file. Try not to get the one from Microsoft Store. Uh, there have been a few issues with this. And now you can just install Arduino IDE uh, da, da, just da. by double clicking it and go through the installation process. Click all these little buttons and yeah, you should be good. Complete. So back in Movie Flight, you can go ahead and go to Extras settings and then over at movie flight modules this is where you'll set all of your arduinos what you do want to do is put your path to arduino ide so the folder you just set and this will be under wherever you you set the arduino ide path so mine is windows c program files arduino and then just link it here just make sure it looks something like this. Now, if I reload Moby Flight, you'll see that this little check mark right here for Arduinos is there. We're all good to go. We'll even see if we go to Extras, Settings, Moby Flight Modules. You'll notice I have my Moby Flight Mega connected. That's this Arduino I have connected right here. Just a brief pause in the program. This is an Arduino 2560 Mega. There's also the Pro Micro that works with Movie Flight. The Arduino Uno, for example, is not compatible, so you'll want to make sure that you do have an, a compatible Arduino. I've created a resource about Arduinos, which ones work, which pins you can use in the link in the description below. It contains a few frequently asked questions, uh, and I think you'll find it useful. Okay, back to the video. If you ever close Movie Flight and can't find it, it is in your Movie Flight folder right here, the mobiflightconnector.exe, but I like to pin it to the taskbar just to make sure that it's, it stays there if I'm working with it a lot. This sim status warning is a little bit different than FSX. If I just connect FS2020, it'll, it should say a check mark, but that will only let me have input capabilities. If I want to have input and output capabilities, I can install FSUIPC for FS2020. You can go to fsuipc.com, the Pete and John Dowson software. And then right here, fsuipc7 for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 only. Click download for this. Notice I'm using the unregistered version. You can use the unregistered version for FS2020. With Moby Flight, there aren't any features you need to have for the registered version. You can go ahead, extract all from the 
downloaded folder, and then install FSUIPC7. Click the little EXE right here. Tell Windows, I don't care, do it anyways. Da, da, da. And then install FSUIPC7. Go through the installation window and skip registering it, unless you have a registration. So now it's all finished and we're good to go. So right here we have Microsoft Flight Simulator with FSUIPC7. When you click this, it'll start to run. And it looks like it's also starting to run my flight simulator, which is exciting. So right now, FSUIPC7 is running. Now if we go back to Movie Flight, you'll realize that FSUIPC status is a little check mark. Well, that was a cool intro. We put Moby Flight over it, so it looks That's awesome. Like... Now I have to delete a bunch of my files because I don't have enough space, uh, and then update Flight Sim 2020. Okay, we're at 8 8.7, 8.2, 8.28, 8.31, 8.35, 8.41, 8.57, 8.56, oh, 8.55. Now we have Microsoft Flight Simulator running right here. We have MobiFlight running right here. Arduino IDE is all set up. FSUIP is all set up. So we're good to go. Uh, we're going to go to Extras, Settings, MobiFlight Modules. Uh, and then under this MobiFlight Mega, I'm going to add two devices, a switch and a light. So just add a button on pin 2, and then LED on pin 53. Uh, because I just want to stick it in real quick. Real quick, I'm just going to go through and make these two devices. Head over to my Switch and LED video for more information. In your documents folder, most likely, you'll see this FSUIP7 folder. And once you go in here, you'll find a few documents. One of them is FSUIPC7 offset status. This is where you can find the entire list of offsets. So these little numbers I used here, you can find them for everything in Flight Simulator 2020. So that's just your documents folder, FSUIPC7, FSUIPC7 offset status. So just keep that in mind. So I set up my configurations real quick. Uh, and now if I go into a level and turn on the landing light switch with my little wire right here, if I click these wires together, it should turn the landing light on. And it does right here, so I think we should be good to go. Already, before we completely load it in, you'll see that this light came on. That's actually bad. I'm going to burn it out. I didn't put a resistor. Uh, but that means that the landing light is on. You'll see right here, I have these two wires. And once I click them together, as if I was clicking a switch, the landing light turns on when they're connected and off when they're not. I could easily assign this to an actual switch because uh, I don't think you want a panel with a bunch of cables out that you twist together. Uh, but you'll also notice that I have this LED right here, and if I just plug it in real quick, not too long because I don't have a resistor, 
you'll see that it turns on when the landing light is on, like here, and off when the landing light is off. The LED is separate from this, because uh, if I click this switch, the light turns on, even though these wires never touched. So that's really nice, because uh, you could just have a landing light indicator. Though if you look closely, there's actually one on the wing, a landing light indicator. The engineers these days are getting smarter and smarter. It's amazing. So there you have it. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2 MobiFlight. For more information on this, I'd highly recommend you check out the MobiFlight video update uh, that kind of explains more of the FSUI PC features. Uh, it was really helpful for me, and I think it'll be really helpful to you. I'll put the link in the description below to FSUI PC, Arduino IDE, and even FS2020. Why not? I really hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.